So when it comes to Google, one of the most important things is to get into the index and get into the index quickly and rank as highly as possible. In fact, in Google, if you get a good index, you can show up on the first couple pages and start getting traffic right away. But the first thing is you need to know how to get into the index. Hi everybody, I'm John Lincoln with Ignite Visibility. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about everything that you need to know about getting into the index in Google quickly in five easy steps. Before you get started, make sure to click the notification bell and make sure to subscribe so that you can get more videos like this in the future. Okay, so what's the first way to get into the index? Well, it's links. So any page that links from one page to another page inside of the internet will allow Google to crawl a page, go to the other page, and then it will pick up the other page and get that into the index. So the first way to get your website into the index is to have other sites link to you. Item number two, a sitemap. What a lot of people don't realize is that sitemaps are really, really powerful. And you can do a couple different things. The first thing is you can submit an XML sitemap to Google inside a Google Search Console. That's going to allow your entire website to get picked up. But in addition to that, you can submit segments of your website. So if you like, you can just submit a portion of it. So if you have a large directory website, maybe you have um, a couple hundred categories, you want to get those picked up, you want to be able to see in your index report how many of those are actually indexed, you can submit that portion of your sitemap and you can get those parts just picked up. So that can be really, really powerful for certain portions of your website. Also, having an HTML sitemap that's linked to in the footer of your website is very powerful because Google will crawl your website. To my point on, in, on linking earlier, that's going to allow Google to crawl those links, crawl the HTML sitemap, crawl all the pages on that sitemap, and then that's going to allow you to get those pages into the index. Also, an image sitemap will allow you to get your images indexed, and a video sitemap will allow you to get your videos indexed. Uh, pro tip, YouTube videos get indexed very, very quickly. So if you're going after a term that is either competitive and you have great authority on YouTube or it's not competitive and you are just specifically targeting it really well, you can make a YouTube video and you can be ranking really, really quickly, very highly in Google in the video area and then also inside of the main area. Item number three, social media shares. Social media shares are incredibly powerful for getting pages indexed on the internet. So that's why you see large news sites have pages jump up so quickly because they get tons and tons of shares. And this is usually a result of a lot of shares on Twitter or Facebook specifically. So item number three is get social media shares. Item number four, fetches Google. Now item number four and item number five are actually kind of the same because fetches Google is done through the URL inspection tool inside of Google Search Console. So with Google Search Console, you can inspect a URL and then you can fetch that URL and you can submit that URL. That allows you to get pages picked up inside of the index inside of Google quickly. And if you have an individual page, you can get it picked up almost right away, usually within you know a couple hours of submitting. Bonus item. Now, if you have a page inside of Google, how do you get it removed? That's one bonus item I'm gonna go over, and then I'm also gonna go over one more bonus item. So I have two bonus items for you. So your URL removal tool, what a lot of people don't realize, there's actually a tool in Google called the URL removal tool that will remove pages from the index. Check to make sure somebody hasn't set up a Search Console account and removed a URL that you don't want to have removed. You actually might have some URLs in the removal tool that you don't even know about. And then also schema. What a lot of people don't realize is now with schema.org, you can be deliberate about what you show inside of the Google index. You can show certain types of uh, information in a very specific way around products, around reviews, around a lot of different things, um, even the, the length of, of certain types of descriptions that you couldn't before. So make sure you're taking a look at your schema in addition to how you're using all of these other things to get inside of the Google index. When it comes to indexing in SEO, it's a very important thing. As websites get bigger and bigger, it can become more and more of a challenge. If you're working with a large e-commerce site, a large directory site, a large brand, 
in many cases, they want to get more and more pages in the index. So they start creating more and more pages. But what happens is at some point, some of those pages become low quality. If they're low quality, they're not going to be in the index. They're not going to show up high. They're not going to rank. My final piece of advice to you would be make as many high quality pages as possible on your website. Invest the time, invest the energy in making it the best page on the internet as much as possible. And if you can't do that, make great use of your database so that the pages and the categories that you're creating are pulling in information on, on from your database and displaying it in as unique a way as possible. And then fill in the additional information around that with excellent content. That's it for indexing and SEO today. I hope that these tips were helpful for you. I'll see you next time. Have a great day. If you like, like, comment, subscribe. I love chatting with you online. See ya.